This week on Ask the Tech Guy, what the heck does Type C really mean? This, this is Twit. Ask the Tech Guy is brought to you by LastPass, the number one most preferred password manager. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. Hi, I'm Leo Laporte. I'm the tech guy on the radio, and this is Ask the Tech Guy. Questions everybody asks me. <laughs> so if I answer them once on this show, I can just refer people to the answer. This is actually a question that came to me from a friend. You probably have heard of him named Steve Martin. He's a well-known comic, apparently up-and-coming actor. And he's also a geek. I don't know if people really know that, but Steve's a huge geek. And he sent, he sent me uh, this note uh, the other day. Leo, I've got to use your brain. For some reason, I can't figure out how to buy a USB-A to USB-C charging and data cable. When I search data cable, I always get only a charging cable. What am I missing? If I plug in a regular cable, I get charged, but no connection through the hub to HDMI, for example. Is that clear? It is, Steve. It's not. <laughs> what's not clear is what the hell Type C is, because this is crazy. Types. This is a nightmare. The Type C connector is a big improvement. Uh, in fact, I think it was somewhat inspired. It was created by the USB Coalition. You know, all the people who do USB, and I think it was somewhat inspired by Apple's Lightning cable. You remember, for years, USB connectors. You always plugged it in upside down, no matter what. You plugged it upside down, so you always had to plug it in twice. You know, it's not this way, it's that way. Apple, with this lightning cable, came up with a cable that's plugged in right side up, no matter which way you plug it in. And I think the USB guys got a little jealous, so they created, they created USB Type-C connectors. What they didn't do is specify what a Type-C cable and a Type-C port can do, and that's the problem. They can do a lot of different things, and it's not always clear what that Type-C port on your computer, what that Type-C cable is capable of. And in fact, now that USB 4 has said, we're going to use Type-C 2, it's going to get even worse. And oh, and by the way, the Type-C connector on your smartphone does a whole other bunch of different things. It's not going to have the same capabilities as a Type-C connector on a laptop. So... It is the future, but we do have to kind of understand a little bit about what Type-C cables and ports can do. Type-C has the capability, as defined by the USB folks, for charging devices. It can power devices as well. You may have a hard drive, for instance. This is a hard drive that doesn't have a plug in the wall. It just has a Type-C cable and Type-C connector. It gets all its power from the Type-C connector. So the power can go into a computer for charging, but out of the computer for powering a device as well. Uh, that's called a bus-powered device, in case you care about the terminology. Type-C can also send data, but it can send data in a variety of completely incompatible ways. It can send USB 3.1 data, type uh, Gen 1 or Gen 2, that's 5 or 10 gigabits, Per se, gigabytes per second. It can send Thunderbolt 3 data. That's 40 gigabytes a second. And as I mentioned, USB 4 data is coming as well. This is the uh, kind of cable that Steve kept buying. This is a Type A USB connector. This one you can tell is USB 2.0 because it has a black, little piece of black plastic in there. It also has the USB logo on it. This is Type C on the other side. But because the, of this connector, you know that this cable at best... Uh, does charging and USB Type 2 data, may not even do data, may only do charging, and that's the problem. Uh, I think because of that USB logo, you, you can also count on this doing data. The cables have to be designed to support the protocols they want to work with. When I buy cables, uh, I buy them uh, from a number of manufacturers. This is one I've had good results with. It's called NECTEC, and you can tell that these are Thunderbolt 3 cables because it has a Thunderbolt on it and a number 3. So these have additional circuitry to make sure that Thunderbolt 3 operates at the full 40 gigabytes per second it's capable of. These are, these are uh, nice cables. I don't hesitate recommending them. But like all Thunderbolt 3 cables, they're pricey because there's additional circuitry involved. I have a couple of Samsung SSDs. This is the T5 and the X5. Both of them have Type-C connectors on their end, but they are very different. Uh, this one 
And by the way, I used the cable that came with it. This one, the Samsung T5, is USB only. Even though it's Type-C on both ends, it's USB 3.1 with a maximum throughput of 10 gigabytes per second. I paid a lot more for this. This is the Samsung X5. Both of these are two terabytes, but this is two terabytes at 40 gigabytes per second. And you can see the Thunderbolt icon on there. And that means, and you've got to use a Thunderbolt 3 cable with this. That means it can, uh, it can do all the full Thunderbolt 3 throughput. But you can't tell just by looking at them, really, <laughs> what it'll do. So you have to look at the specs of the devices, and you have to get the cables that match. So here's a Surface Book Go from Microsoft. This is a brand new computer. It has a Type-C connector. Does that do Thunderbolt? No. Does it charge? Yeah. Does it do video? No. <laughs> Does it do data? Only USB 3.1. So, and I don't see any markings on it to tell me. So you have to actually look carefully at the specifications of any device you're using to see what it can do. And then you also have to get the cable that works appropriately. USB-C also transports video. This is an Apple device that makes it possible to use uh, Type-C on your iPad or your uh, Apple Macintosh and connect it to a Type-2 Thunderbolt 2 DisplayPort uh, video device. So it's an adapter sold by Apple. And there's some circuitry in here, but really this is Thunderbolt 3 to Thunderbolt 2 in effect. I don't know if I helped you, Steve. I think I confused matters, but it's not my fault. You can blame the USB folks for, for creating this kind of nonsense. The good news is it'll get simpler and simpler as more modern computers support the full range of Type-C capabilities, at least until USB 4 comes out. Thanks for the question, Steve. We appreciate it. If you have a question, email askthetechguy at twit.tv. Ask the Tech Guy is brought to you, as always, by LastPass. You only need one master password. LastPass takes care of the rest. They've got a great new business lineup that includes single sign-on technology, plus goes beyond standard two-factor authentication using biometrics and geolocation. I love the LastPass security challenge. It scans all your passwords and shows you exactly which passwords are putting you at risk and gives you an easy way to fix them. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to find out how LastPass can help you. That's lastpass.com slash twit. We'll see you next time on Ask the Tech Guy. Stumped on a nasty tech conundrum? Email askthetechguy at twit.tv.